Hey guys, hope you're all doing awesome possum. Welcome to episode two of the surprisingly relaxing city builder, Airborne Kingdom. All right, we have contacted the Kingdom of Rotula in the first episode. We're heading on back over there right now. Gonna see if we can increase our relations with those peeps. See if we can get some new knowledge, trade some stuff and things. Could be exciting. Looks like we have a relic ruin over here. We're currently getting more wood. We're gonna completely deplete this innocent little forest down below. It's got 24 wood remaining. Let's chop it all to pieces, shall we? All right, we're speeding up the game max speed. That's why we are wiggling and waggling like we're on some sort of crack. Like we got some ADHD. <laughs> all right, there's 16 remaining. 16 wood, that is. We're gonna wait until that's all depleted. We do have a warehouse. Let's see, what? Oh yeah, I was gonna do, I was gonna do, or, or let's slow the game down. I was going to do another academy. Oh, we need five more people though. Mm. Probably not able to do that just yet then. And we're also pretty much at our maximum weight capacity. Can we do a water tower? It says we can, but would that be a smart decision? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't. I don't really know. Uh, let's hold off on the water tower for now. All right, we're gonna pass by that giant ass oasis on the way back over here. Let's uh, send a worker to the relic ruin down there. We're up to eight relics. Are we gonna get, I think we're gonna get four more from that. So we're gonna be up to 12, I think. Let's see what happens. There's some coal right below us, but we're good on coal. We're at 26 out of 30, not a problem, not a problem. I mean, I guess I could get a couple since we're right next to it. Might as well send a couple planes down there real quick. All right, yep, we got four relics found in the nearby ruin. Ah, beautiful, splendid. We also have some thickets over there as well. We could get some more food. We can hold up. We can hold up to fifty-five food now. Pretty massive, guys. That's huge. So, you know what, let's move in between the oasis and the thickets, and we'll just collect all the stuff and things from both places. All workers are busy. We're getting coal. We're up to 30 coal. Let's remove the workers from there. Let's put two workers on the oasis. Let's let them do their thing for a wee little bit here. You know, I'm surprised that the warehouse did not allow me to collect more coal. Kind of strange. Oh yeah, we can also do our motifs, guys. We have defaults. We can do summer. <laughs> it's like a beach party. We can do Halloween. Halloween is coming up, guys, pretty soon here. We can change the light color. Oh, that'll be at nighttime. Oh, that'll be cool. We can change the wall, wall color scheme floor tiles as well. This is cool, man. Lots of customization. I'm digging it. I am digging it. We're just gonna leave everything default for now. I think. Oh, hold on. We can do festive. Like Christmas time for the housing and stuff and things. Housing block has been upgraded. Requires 25% less water per household. Let's open the research tree. Pause the game with the yield spacebar button, shall we? All right, what do we want to do now, peeps? What do we want to do now? Ooh, we could increase our coal storage by 100%. Requires 16 hours, though. Let's do it. It's a, uh, it's gonna be a long one. Almost a full day. But it's gonna help out quite a bit, I do believe. All right, we're collecting water. And we're collecting food. Kind of like right in the middle of them, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't take our planes too terribly long, I suppose. We need more people is what we need, guys. We need more folks. 
We're up to 25 out of 30 water, 27 out of 30. We're gonna take those guys off of here pretty soon. Food is going up, we're at 36 out of 55. 28 out of 30 water. Let's wait for it to be maxed out. I assume that the oases can refill over time. At least that's my assumption. I don't I don't really know. Alright, let's take those off of there. Put them onto the thicket. Get our food up. Let's move right above the thickets to increase the speed of resource harvesting. And then we're going to go back over here. Ooh, there's a little forest right there, but it's all empty. I've depleted it. You know, I guess I could just talk to these guys right now. I am within range. All right. What do they want again? They want us to rebuild their great conservatory. They want 10 wood, 2 adobe, and 2 workers for 1 hour. We can do it. Uh, right after we're done collecting food, we'll get that going. Should be easy peasy, baby. Actually, you know what? We could remove two workers from this right now, actually. And just get it going at the same time. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. We give the required materials and workers to reconstruct the Great Conservatory. We must wait nearby for its completion. All right. What about, uh, what about the blueprints? We search for technologies in the depths below Rutula. We must pay, we must pay to have them uh, excavated. All right, makes sense. No one has to work for free. And to work in the sky, we must research what we find further, but these would be a start. So we can do a glass smelter, a vertical rotor, or a sail. Can we only do one of the three? Vertical rotor generates lift to keep us aloft. Average cost, high fuel, no workers, average lift. So it requires no workers, which is nice, but has high fuel consumption, provides 25 lift. Purchase for, oh, you can purchase for, for relics. Oh, so we, we could purchase all these. All right, the sale generates propulsion, high cost, no fuel, four workers, high speed. Ooh. All right, let's purchase all these. And the glass smelter transforms, I think that is quartz into glass. Workers don't like living near the glass smelter because of its fumes. All right, let's purchase that. All right, we got all the blueprints and there's a market as well. We seek to barter our resources. No merchant merchants offer a fair price, but if we're desperate, we can trade at a loss. Oh God. We seek to trade for coal. Hmm. We don't need anything right now, really. So let's uh, let's save that for a rainy day. This kind of gives me like Willy Wonka vibes, you know? It's like steampunk, but adorable steampunk. I like it. I like it. All right, we're up to 43 out of 55 food collected. Adobe kiln cannot work because it's missing clay. No problem, that's all right. Does that mean people automatically stop working there when they're not able to work? What's the deal? My peeps are still happy. All right, the conservatory is complete. With our resources and labor, the conservatory is again whole. Upon seeing our efforts, a couple of locals join our cause. Yes, agreeing to take part in our great council. Yet the great conservatory is still withered, its grove rotted. The queen asks us to find a sapling from the golden trees of Kaldar. Kaldar? To replant their once beautiful gardens. The exact whereabouts of the trees is unknown, but their rumored location is marked on our map. All right. We shall find the golden grove to regrow the trees. All right, let's check out the map, shall we, guys? I assume it's this location over in the top right. I guess we have somewhere to head over to now, right? Beautiful. 
All right, um, we need two more houses, guys. Not a problem. We can get those going right away. Not enough lift to support the weight. That's right. We need to build lift. Ooh, we need to research lift. Vertical rotor. I think we need to do that right now. We're going to have to cancel the upgrade for the coal. This is only going to take two hours to research the vertical rotor. It requires high fuel, so we're, we're definitely going to want to do some upgrades for it. We can decrease the construction cost of it by 20%. And we can decrease the coal usage by 30%, 16 hours. Okay. Uh, the construction cost is 10 wood and 5 adobe. We have plenty. We could do the construction decrease or er, construction cost decrease upgrade and then we only, we only have to wait eight hours but i should probably build one and then do the upgrade for it i don't know we'll see we'll see it's almost done all right uh food is almost maxed out guys so we can start moving here pretty soon actually we could probably start moving right now uh our coal is at 26 out of 30 all right, thicket's empty now. Let's assign people to the coal deposit that we're going to fly past. I think we're going the right way, right? All right, vertical rotor has been researched. Yes, lovely. Absolutely splendid. Glorious. All right, um, let's do... We could do the glass smelter. We don't need that yet, though. Let's try to focus. All right, let's do coal storage. Do we want to do coal storage? Yeah, let's do coal storage 16 hours. All right, we're, we're, we're committing to that now. We're, we're not going to change that. All right, so now we need lift, vertical rotor. People don't want to live next to the rotor, which, you know, makes sense. Get out, man. Here, let's um let's do a pathway around it, I think. Would be cool. Like that, right? Is that a good spot, you think? Oh, that's too much. It's gonna tilt my 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 place like crazy. I feel like everything's gonna tilt this place like nuts, right? Well, I guess it's not that much. Oh, it, it, it even says heavy tilt, seven degrees to the back. Hmm. Well, I mean, we, we, we could just build more stuff back here, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it's a little wild. All right, we're getting coal as we venture over here. Are we going the right way? We are heading the perfect way. Man, I'm good. A oh, damn. <laughs> Kind of looks gangsta though, right? Popping a wheelie like that. <laughs> I mean, we're still cruising right along. It's, it's not too bad. Happiness is down to mediocre. Damn, they dropped from jubilant to mediocre. It's because they don't have housing. That's why. All right, it's 49% complete. Coal is back up to 30. Let's get everybody off of there. Uh, let's see. Play deposit. Unknown ruin too far. Take a look at the map. 
We could head up there, straight across, and then make our way back down as we come back. That could be that could, that could be the play, guys. That could be the play. I, th I, th I think that is the play. I think that's the move. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um. Yeah, we could just go straight across. Get more wood. All right, let's do it. All right, the vertical rotor is 63 percent, 64, 65, 66. It's being constructed quite quickly. 80, 80, 90, 100. Beautiful. Oh, that's badass. All right, let's get some more housing going. Let's get housing on this side. And we're going to need to weigh that down over here. Hmm, I really want to do another academy, but we need more stuff and things. Maybe we should save up for the academy. All right, we're going over to this giant ass forest. 144 wood is over there. We're at 21 wood. We're going to harvest the wood from there so we can build yet another academy. All right, we got 14 out of 14 houses. Peeps should start to become a little bit a little bit better. A little bit happier, I mean. Kingdom is greatly off balance, so it's contributing to displeasure. So if we can fix that, that'd be nice. All right, Eternal Forge. A large forge glows hot with colored sparks. Though the nearby settlement has been long abandoned, the metalwork is a similar color to the sparks emanating from the forge. The exact alloy is a mystery, but it appears we can change the colors of our own metals with these new dyes. Ooh, nice. All right, we got new colors. Let's check it out. I don't know. What did we get? Oh gosh, we got a lot of different, oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, we can change the styles. Oh, that's kick ass. Oh, baller, dude. I'm all about it. We'll have to do that a little, uh, a little bit later, guys. All right, let's get the wood. Can I move this warehouse? How, how expensive is it? It costs three wood? Let's do it. Move it right there. And let's go ahead and move this silo as well. Cost three wood. All right, what's my tilt now? Not too bad, right? No tilt issues. All right, people are super happy again. They're jubilant. We're gonna need more housing, so we should probably get that ready to go. Let's get two more houses. Still kind of riding a little low there. All right, we can hold up to 55 water now. I like it. I like it. Glorious. Almost depleted the forest. We're down to 12, 10. Speed up the game to maximum. Our research is over halfway done. Four, two. All right, beautiful. 
Let's get people on the thickets. Let's move on over there. And we're on a new day, day three, peeps. Beautiful. There's a small settlement here, though. We spot another small settlement or a small community living on the land outside the protection of any kingdom. Some of them may wish to join us to grow our great council. We ask of migrants willing to join. Some seem excited, but they want assurance that their new homes will be satisfactory. What's this guy want? He wants at least mediocre ha happiness. We got him. What about this guy? Overall satisfied inhabitants. Got him. This guy wants jubilant. Got him. Easy peasy. All right, we got more peeps. We need one more house. Let's pause the game, or at least let's slow the game down to normal speed. All right, we can have eight workers now doing that. Oh, now that we have... Oh, guys, now that we have an excess of workers, we can do another academy. Yes. All right, let's wait until the thickets are depleted. We have nine food remaining here. Speed up the game a little bit. Nice, the thickets have been depleted. Let's do another academy, yes. Let's make it happen. Our dreams are gonna come true. All right. That should help me out quite a bit, I would imagine. This is the small settlement we were just at. Cool, cool, cool. Good thing I came over here. There is a relic ruin down here. And there is another unknown ruin over there as well. I assume that's going to give me probably more colors and customization for my kingdom. More visual customization, I mean. All right, food storage is up to 78 out of 80. Beautiful. Okay, I'm curious how much faster my research is going now. Oh, it doubled it. Because I'm pretty sure this was an eight-hour research for the two-story housing block. Now it's now it's down to four hours. Oh, that's a massive play. Massive play. All right, let's send a worker to the relic ruin. There's also an eternal forge, a large forge, glows hot with the colored sparks. All right, same thing as before. We can now customize our buildings even more. Town center has been upgraded. Coal storage increased by 100%. All right, let's do the housing blocks. Can stack up to two stories upgrade. That's gonna take only four hours now. It's gonna be done in no time, baby. All right, we got two relics from the nearby ruin over here. Let's get all the wood. And then we'll head back on over to the kingdom. Get two more water towers. I want to be stacked on that water, baby. Should I do another? I wonder if I can, uh, so if I delete this, that path, oops. Can I build another warehouse right next to it? Oh, you can. Oh, that's cool, man. Let's do that. 
Alright, we're pretty much level again, guys. That's badass. Beautiful. Alright, let's get all the wood and head back on over. Yeah, this thing's looking beefy. You know what this reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of um, Bioshock Infinite. Because that entire game takes place in a city flying above, <laughs> above the planet, above the Earth. Great game, by the way. That, that game is amazing. My god. It's one of the few games that's ever given me a genuine emotional response to a video game before. And it was great. It was amazing. Alright, two more left. Two more wood. Alright, start heading out. Got it. Let's get some food along the way as well. Dude, that second uh, academy is a game changer. My god. We're researching so quickly. Look at that. Housing block upgraded. Let's open the research again. Our coal is a little bit of an issue right now, guys. Let's decrease the coal usage by 30% of the vertical rotor. It's going to take 8 hours to do instead of 16. I love it. Alright, we need to go get some coal along the way until we come crashing into the ground. <laughs> My god. We should be able to get this food without stopping. Since we're almost full on food anyway, our water is dangerously low. We gotta go get some more water and some more coal. Food is maxed out. Let's get the clay. Okay, our coal's down to 15. It's kind of freaking me out. Come on, baby. You can do it. Can we collect all the clay without stopping? I think we can. Maybe. Down to eight. And there's coal right over here. Beautiful. Right near the kingdom. And a six, four, two, zero. Beautiful. All right. All right. Coal deposit. Come on. We're down to 14 coal. Going to be able to reach that no problem. Let's get our planes on it right now. And we'll just, uh, I think we'll collect all of it. There's a bunch of clay over here as well. Oh, you can change the color of the metal now. Look at that. Oh, that's fancy, man. Ooh, that copper looks kick ass. I like it. I love the copper look. That's great. Looks super fancy. Very cool. All right, we're getting all the coal, baby. How much we got down here? Uh. 71, 69, alright, beautiful. And we can have up to 60 coal in our storage now. We need to get the water as well. We're down to 14 water. Yeah, let's actually spread that out a little bit. Let's do two, two workers on the coal and two workers on the oasis. 
go right in the middle so we get them equally at the same speed. And let's chat with the Kingdom of Vertulia. The Vertulians begin to replant their great conservatory. As it flourishes, new groves spring nearby, which we can harvest for uh, wood. A few more Vertulians also join our cause. With the grove replanted, the Vertulians are convinced of our prophecy. They agree to ally with us to seal our our our, 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 our allegiance. We must build a skyport to connect their kingdom with our own. All right, requires 20 wood, 10 adobe, and we send two workers for two hours. All right, beautiful, let's do it. All right, beautiful, I like it. Oh, we got more workers, Never mind. we're good. We can, we can keep peeps doing that. All right, we need uh, more housing. wait three hours until we can stack the houses I guess we could we could we, we, we could do that Workers have completed the new Skyport, and now we have gained another ally. Yes! Great! All right, guys, Kingdom of Rutulia. With the Skyport complete, Rutulia is now connected to us and its neighbors. A great number of workers have also joined our cause. They offer to supply us with plus one wood every hour. Now that they are connected to the skies, it should be easy. We must find the other kingdoms and connect them as well. Then all peoples will enjoy collective harmony and the prophecy will be complete. Upon sealing our allegiance, the locals tell us one last forgotten myth of the ancients and their knowledge. For the legends say the airborne kingdom housed three, dis or three distinct wonders atop its flying platform. Each wonder shone with splendor and imbued great knowledge and ability to its builders. Yet when the great capital disappeared, these wonders were lost as well. The tales say they were scattered to the winds and that their pieces lay among the lands. Perhaps in finding some of the lost parts, we can rebuild these wonders. We gather every detail about their functions and rumored whereabouts. Excellent! Yes! As our community grows, doubts and fears begin to form among the migrants from other kingdoms. How can we survive in the skies forever? Traditional believers in the light, the people are worried that they have lost its guidance, both physically and spiritually. They need these desires fulfilled. We must shine lights on all of our paths to make our people feel safe when walking in the skies, or we can build centers of faith so that the light may guide them spiritually. These constructions will help provide our inhabitants desires. We know of neither construction at the start of our journey, but surely other kingdoms have ideas we can research to make it, or to make in the skies. Beautiful. A vertical rotor has been upgraded as well. We decreased the coal usage by 30%. Beautiful. Oh, we already have the housing blocks. All right, that's, I forgot. I already did that. Okay, cool. Um, so we need to find other kingdoms to discover desires so we can satisfy their spir spiritual needs and make them feel a little bit safer up top here, guys. Uh, let's increase the efficiency of the adobe kiln by 33%. Only takes four hours to do. All right, we have 25 out of 18 people. Man, we need a lot of housing. We need a lot of housing, folks.
All right, that should be good. We should be golden, right? Coal storage is almost full. Beautiful. Oh, there's another forest there. Let's get some peeps on it. All right, let's remove some peeps from the coal deposit. Lots of forests over here, guys. That forest is empty. Wow. That was fast. All right, guys. Anyway, I know it's the middle of the night, but you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and leave the episode off there since we accomplished what we set out here to do. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed episode two. This game is getting better and better by the minute absolutely loving it hope you guys are as well if you did enjoy the video a thumbs up and a subscription tools a channel is free of charge and would help out my small humble channel immensely anyway guys hopefully you have a great rest of your night your day whatever time it is for you where you are and i will see you fine folks in the next one